How you guys doing? Back here with a new damn video. Let's get right the hell to it. Yeah, I've been going all week. The reason I've been going all week is because I've been sick. My fault about that. So I didn't get to make no Raiders re review, preview, whatever you want to call it. You know, there's about one minute left because it's 11.59. It just hit 12. Whatever. Uh, Merry Christmas to y'all. Hope you guys had a good Christmas. And uh, hope you got everything you wanted. Hope you guys had a good time with your family. Okay, so let's just get right the hell down to it. Yeah, I was sick this whole week. Couldn't make a video. My fault about that, but I'm back. Um, you know, I had a good Christmas with my family. All the rah, 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 shalala, -la -la, all that shit. You know what I mean? Good time. Eat. Whatever. Then I come home to watch, come home to watch the Eagles. Now, look, I don't know what the hell you want to call this damn game, okay? A tough, gritty win, I guess. You know what I mean? But the Raiders ain't ain't nobody to brag about. Okay, now let's just look at it. Okay, Chris Long, you're a damn beast, bro. I love you. The dude's playing for no damn money. Really, he donated all of his money. Every game check he's got this season to charities, this and that. He's playing for not one cent. And he's beasting the hell out. Having one of the best, uh, I guess, one of the best years of his career. I'm the way it's looking to me. Okay, um, he's balling the hell out, and I gotta respect him, man. He played one hell of a game tonight, man. But uh, overall, this team is just—I I don't know if they're built for the playoffs. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. We'll see next week. We'll see when the playoffs come around. But God, man, this team is just. All right, let's just put it this way. The offense in the first half had 100, I think, 124 yards, I think, and a touchdown. Foles had a touchdown. <laughs> Excuse me, Foles had a touchdown. Also had an interception that was dropped. He also missed Ertz two times. Ertz was wide the hell open. I mean, wide open. Well, the first one he was wide open. The second one he wasn't wide open, but if you just throw it a little, little more touch on it, dude, he's right there. He, he catches it. Foles was terrible tonight. I'll just tell you that right now, all right? Um... Overthrowing guys, four yard passes, throwing he's throwing the damn ball. I mean, it's a four yard pass, and you're throwing it this high in the air when it should be in the guy's stomach. You're making the guy jump for it. Like he was just erratic. He he was terrible tonight. Defense won us this game. You know, the defense started out. They had one. They started out kind of shaky. They gave up that TD to Amari Cooper. I'm like, damn, dude. Here we go with this defense again. In the past three freaking weeks, we've been seeing a trashy defense. But I'll tell you what. Them cats performed, man. They came to play. Defense won us this game. I don't know how the hell they did it. I mean, every damn time. Dude, in the second half of this game, we only had 11 yards of offense. 11 on offense. That's it. That's all we had. Besides, well, that was at one point in the game. Sorry, that wasn't the end when we got the ball in the fourth quarter with like a minute left, whatever it was, 40 seconds left, and we marched on the field to kick a field goal to win the game. I'm talking about before that. We only had 11 yards of offense. At one point in in the second half, that's it in the fourth like fourth quarter wise. Until we got to that point when we kicked the field goal, so defense did everything. I think they had what two interceptions? Was it three? Two or three interceptions? Two four? Two or three forced freaking fumbles, man. They I know they had one on Lynch. They had one on on Derek Carr, which wasn't recovered, but still a forced fumble. They had one, again, near the end of the game, which doesn't really matter. Well, I wouldn't count that one. But, they, okay, they had the one on oh, that one running back, number 33. They had that one right there. Boom, got it. And it looks like their defense was marching. Malcolm Jenkins makes a big, makes a big play. Uh, Robinson, big-time interception. Then Ronald Darby gets that last-minute pick, and I'm like, holy shit, man. We're about to win this. I'm like, dude. And I, when they said he wasn't touching, he ran back for a touchdown. I'm like, we won the game. We won the game. And then when, when they said he was down, I'm like, game's over. We, we still haven't won it. It's going overtime. This offense can't freaking move. That's what I'm going to get to. Nick Foles sucked tonight. Let's just keep it honest, all right? Let's just say, let's not say oh, well, you know, he, he's just average. You know, give him time. Dude, he played terrible tonight. Awful. He was throwing over people's heads. He was throwing on the ground. He was backpedaling like he used to, which is why we got rid of him in the first thing. Backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. There was times where he had all day in the pocket. He's just going pat, 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 pat. And then the pressure comes. He starts running this way, running that way, and then bam, getting sacked. Dude, if you don't see somebody within the glimpse of a couple seconds, either look for your check down. If not, throw that throw the damn ball away. 
Literally, because you're getting sacked. You can't stand there all day long and expect them just to hold up. You know what I mean? Expect someone just to get open. He had a terrible game. I mean, terrible. Now, I ain't calling for Nate Seldfeld, whatever the hell his name is. But I just look at this game, and I, just a prime example, once again, why, in my opinion, Wentz is still the MVP. Maybe Todd Gurley, but Wentz is definitely still considered for MVP. If you watch this game, you can tell. If he's in this game, we win by at least two touchdowns, maybe three. Because those two Ertz miss touchdowns right there, you missed two on Ertz. The defense, I think, four, what was it, four? Four or five turnovers. Four or five turnovers they forced. Wins on offense were capitalizing with that. Foles finished, what, with 100-something yards passing? Not, e not even. I don't think even 100-something yards passing. Okay? So I look at that and I go, okay. Then they said we were one. One for 13 on third down. When we had Winston, we were the best damn third down team in the whole damn NFL. Okay? The whole damn NFL. And he was the best damn third down quarterback there was in the NFL. We averaged 300 yards a game on offense. Best in the NFL. 31 points and best in the NFL. You see what I'm trying to say here? If he was in, it would be a way different story. And you look at the decline of not having him. Yeah, yeah, Foles had a great game against the Giants. The Giants' defense sucks. Yeah, Raiders' defense sucks too. But, man, they're a little better than the Giants. I don't know, man. We'll see what happens from here on out. I say play Foles on, in, in the Cowboys game. I don't give a damn if you if, about sitting people now. Because I want he needs to get chemistry with the freaking players. I know we already clinched home field advantage. We already clinched the first round by. Everything's clinched. We got it. But he needs to get chemistry with the players, man. I'm being serious. They need to play at least three quarters, maybe. Well, I'll debate that later on. But man, he looked terrible. But he, when it when it counts, when it counted the most, he made throws. But they were two or three yard passes. They were thinking dunks. I mean, any quarterback could have made the go jump in there, check it down, 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 kick a 48 yard field goal against the win. Jake Elliott's a damn stud. But Foles played terrible. Uh, that that needs to change. He's a big problem. I'm scared of that. All right, uh, let's go, Birds. At least we clinch everything else, and let's just see what happens from here on out. I mean, it's, it's been a roller coaster ride all year, and hopefully something comes out of this. So let's go, Birds, man. Um, I don't know what else you want me to say. Merry Christmas. Uh, I should be back here before New Year's Eve, right? Yeah. Yeah, I played. I, I worked on that. that Christmas Eve game, so I might not be able to make a video, probably recap after, but let's go birds, baby. Oh, no, that's on New Year's, New Year's Day. I might be off. All right, yeah, whatever. Let's go birds. See you guys then. Peace.